This is problem number seven from the 2012 AP Calculus multiple choice set. And it's a pretty simple setup here. They give us a function y equals such and such. And they ask us for y prime. So they're basically just asking us for a derivative. So uh, definitely not a conceptual problem here. We're, we're looking at a procedural question. Uh, you do have to make sure you apply the proper procedures, though. So you look at this function, and you hopefully realize right away that if we're looking for the derivative of it, you've got this inner function right here inside the parentheses. And then since the parentheses are being raised to the fifth power, you also have an outer function. So we're just going to have to go ahead and, and make sure we carefully apply a chain rule. So chain rule says take the derivative of that outer function. Well, the derivative of something to the fifth power is 5 something to the fourth power. Chain rule requires for us to keep the inner function in that initial expression. And then to finish off our chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. We have to subtract off the derivative of cosine of x. So that's one little place where if you're not careful, you can make some mistakes, particularly if you know your derivative and antiderivative formulas already. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So rather than subtracting the negative, I just change that into addition. So if we look at that answer that we just got and we try to match it up with one of the choices, looks like we are looking at choice E.